APD has been slapped with another lawsuit for a deadly police shooting. The family of the man killed claims he never threatened anyone with his gun and was shot in the back. News 13's Chris McKee has been looking over the lawsuit. Chris. Kim, the family of Parrish Dennison claims the shooting was unnecessary and that one of the officers has a history of problems in lawsuits. Dennison was shot and killed two years ago today as he was running from APD in Uptown. Police say he tried to sell stolen instruments to a music store and they called the cops. Dennison ran off. APD's helicopter cam camera caught the end of it here. Dennison had a gun and police claimed he pointed it at them as he ran. Lawyers dispute that. Officers shot Dennison as he tried and ran and he ran and tried to jump through a door. Excuse me. None of the SWAT officers who shot him had their helmet cameras turned on. According to the lawsuit, Dennison was shot five times, including some few shots in the back. Lawyers also claim APD was negligent in its hiring and training of Den and Dennison's mother, excuse me, told us over the phone today that her son didn't need to die. I believe his civil rights were violated. Due process wasn't put upon him. And he's a human being just like the officers that over and over have in the APD that have committed these um, civil rights violations. Now the lawsuit doesn't specify how much money they want from the city. The city doesn't comment on pending lawsuits. Kim, back to you. The officers who shot Dennison, Anthony Sedler, has been involved in three deadly police shootings. His third came last year when he shot an armed car thief as he was running away near Central and Eubank. Sedler did not turn on his camera for that shooting either.